In this Let's Play live stream at Mahjong time, we're going to be playing American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. This particular live stream will be focused on fundamentals, so it's perfect if you're a beginner. Of course, there's always something to learn, no matter what skill level you're at, so I hope you decide to stick around for the live stream. Speaking of live streams, this is live and we will have chat with viewers, so if you prefer less socialization, look for videos called Strategy Theory. I do gameplay with commentary only. That being said, if you don't see the word live at the top of the screen, you're watching the repost. Let's go live. We're live. If you haven't played at Mahjong time yet, look for my email in the video description below. I can send you a 30-day VIP code. That way you can try it out. See if you like playing here. I believe it is the best place to play and I've tried them all. I think this has the best interface. It feels the most real and the community is wonderful. Tech support is also excellent. With all those three, I don't think any other platform can beat it. I'm going to go ahead and join a table. Okay, here we go. All right, now, are there any brand new players watching right now? If so, let me know in chat, in caps, what your pain points are. And that way we can go over some coping skills and strategies to help you with pain points. Otherwise, we'll just play and talk about what's happening. So here's an interesting situation where we have multiples that don't go together. We have a pair of threes and a pair of sevens. So this is where you look at the predominant pattern and gather as many talents as you can to support one of the multiples and then by process of elimination you can come up with a pass. So there are way more three, four, five, six than there are working around the seven. So I'm actually going to stick with three, four, five. So I'm going to hold all my three, four, five, and by process of elimination, I can give up an eight, a seven, and a south. So I'm not going to pick a hand, but we're going to focus on the consecutive run category, just because that's the predominant pattern with the tiles that support the th pair of threes. You can't hear me? Hold on a second. Test, test. My mic is working. Can any, is anyone having any trouble hearing me? Okay, here we have a pair of white dragons now. I'm going to keep that. We have all the threes, so I'm thinking maybe we could play like numbers with threes and we could use the three bam and the white dragon. Okay, uh, everybody can hear me. Uh, Gloria, do you want to check your peripherals and make sure that you're... I don't know if, what kind of device you're using. Perhaps you need to turn up your sound. Okay, so let's see. We do have some 369 potential. Let's give up the five and keep 369 potential. Thank you, Patricia. Okay, so Gloria, what device are you using? Okay, we have a 578. There's no help there. Let's see, 345. Our threes are in the middle there. I think we should go ahead and pass that. And also, I think I would give up the nine, because seven, eight, and one suit, that's a little risky. Um, uh, so, Marlise, the sevens, I had to have a pass, so I basically went with the, the, the most of the tiles that support the pa a pair and I had a pair of threes and a pair of sevens I couldn't keep them both you can't use them both so because I had more three four five than I did on the bigger side of a range with seven eight nine or six seven eight I broke up the seven and built around three four five so that's why I broke up the sevens so we're we're focusing on three four right now or maybe like numbers with threes so we'll give up six band north and eight 
Well, I, I, had to, I have to have tiles to pass, though. Joker bait is a good thing, but I need tiles to pass and still give myself options with my range, 3, 4, 5. So the 5 BAM is in the range around 3, 4, 5, and I do have tiles to pass. Now here we do have a pair of wests, but on the card this year, east and west go with evens, not odds, and my pair is in odds, so I'm not going to keep that west. And I have to have tiles to pass. So let's see, Martha says, would you stay away from 13579? Well, at the time, I didn't have a 9, I believe, and we have no 1 and no 7, so that's too many gaps. We picked up another 3, now we have 2 multiples with 3s. So at this point, I'll give up the 9, the West, and probably the 5 ban. So like numbers with 3s looks like the strongest potential, but we can maybe play something with 3-4. Uh, oh, well, uh, my three and the seven were in two different suits. There's only one hand that would have worked for, but still we had no one and no nine at the time, and that's two gaps, and both of those are pairs. So I would not do that. In this case, we paired up another three, so I would now focus on like numbers with threes because we have all multiples with threes. So here we have tiles that we can actually pass, so I'm going to keep the fours. Let's see how many our opponent wants. I want to wait for them to offer if I can. If I don't wait too long here, I don't want them to say they want just one because then I would decline. They want three. Okay, three's good. So if we get a flower and red dragon, we could maybe play a pair hand. If we get the tiles and have no gaps, I would discard at least one joker to go for a pair hand. But I think like numbers with threes is pretty strong here. That would be the concealed hand with dragons. So now we get the one, but it's way too late. So what I do is discard winds, dragons, and year tiles. So I'm going to get rid of the one first. One bamboo. So if I'm not using winds, those go first. Fine if I'm bamboo. not using dragons, those go after winds. And then year tiles. Wind. So that's kind of west the wind. triage that I use. So west, I'm not playing west winds, wind. so there it goes. I'm keeping number tiles Seven because bamboos. number tiles are going to be most likely in Fine exposures bamboos. with jokers. So I want to hoard number Eight tiles. Bamboos. Okay, now we have a pair of twos. So Eight here characters. is another multiple. Anytime you get a new multiple, characters. reassess. So at this point, we have two, hmm. three, four, and threes. We could play the two concealed characters. consecutive run hand, which is... Concealed, since we don't have a multiple with the four dot, I would let that go and not go for the second hand down. If I had a, a multiple with the four dot, I might have taken that two crack. But here we're in between like numbers with threes or, and dragons or the concealed two, three, four One, hand with threes in the middle. Three dots. Okay, yeah, we're playing two concealed hands, potentially. So we're going to keep the dragons because we're in between like numbers with threes Six and the bamboos. concealed consecutive run hand, two, three, four with threes. Those are both concealed hands. So let's just wait Six and see what dots. happens. If we go with like Nine numbers, dots. we can use the two cracks as joker bait, and One we'll want to get rid of those right about one character right about where the east is the third tile that was discarded right about there is when we want to get one rid of that dots. two okay now we have a, a three so we have to make a choice i think because i'm going to get rid of the dragon green dragon it's six one half dozen the other this hand is actually five points more than the dragon like number hand so we're going to play the concealed Two, three, four with threes. Five we have two bamboos. discards, and that is Joker bait. Although someone discarded a white dragon, so I don't know if two anyone's going to take it. 
So we're going to need this joker to be the two because there are two two cracks out. North wind. Eight bamboos. Three dots. We're concealed, so I can't take that. So now we're going to hold on to the white Six dragon. Characters. Somebody might have needed the white dragon, but just weren't ready for it. So I want to go ahead and hold those for as long as I can, at least until this east tile. West wind. Five dots. Six characters. Okay, we got a three, although we don't need it. So let's see. I think I think I'll give up the white dragon at white this point. Dragon. We could always decide to play like numbers with Sound threes win. if we get flowers. The only bummer right now Sound is win. that the only joker is has to be Five a two crack. Bamboos. We'll get rid of the white. Nobody wanted it. White dragon. So we have a spare three crack and a two Sound dot. Win. There are two three dots out, so we're gonna need a joker two there. Bamboos. Five characters. Let's see. We'll get rid of the two. Two dots. So we have two, three, four. We need a four crack or another joker. We're going to need another joker anyway because there are two, three dots out. So we need to look for joker opportunities here. Sound win. Two dots. There's a four crack. So now let's get rid of the four bam. We're one away bamboos. from ready, and we need another joker. We'll North see what happens. Wind. There are no jokers exposed. We have one. So let's four hope they're in the wall. Nine dots. Five bamboos. No four cracks are out yet. Eight bamboos. Three characters will pass. We're one away from ready. Five characters. There's a joker. Now three characters. We're ready on a four crack on a concealed hand. And there are none there are none out. Eight dots. We have a full wall, uh, more than a full wall. We're still in the middle game. We're at the end of the middle game, going into the Eight fourth characters. wall. Maybe one more pick and we'll be in the end game, Nine which characters. is the last wall to pick from. So ready by the end of the third wall, and that's really good. One dot. So we're looking for a four crack. Eight dots. The player to my left won't be using four cracks, so it's the two players. Nine characters. One across from us and the one to the right, Nine south dots. and west. We need them to discard four Nine crack, characters. or we need to pick it. Five dots. We're in the end game now. Seven bamboos. One and I bamboo. will play to win. So if I get a, um, a hot tile, I'm going to discard. Bamboos. I'm playing to win. Red dragon. That's a fresh tile. Nobody wanted it. Red dragon. Six bamboos. There's only one out. One dot. Be nice to draw a four crack or a joker. Red dragon. Uh oh, flowers out. This is the first Orchid. one. Hold your breath. Nobody wanted it. Hot tile. Five Hot tile is what? Hot tiles when it hasn't been discarded or it hasn't been in an exposure yet. So Five dots. first time out. That's a Easy hot tile. End. So I had two there. The, Bamboo. let's see, well, the flower was a hot tile because nobody had thrown a flower yet. Eight characters. We're still looking for a four crack or a joker. Eight bamboos. There it is. We got Mahjong. Mahjong. Let's see. One player south had a four crack. We're going to look at everybody's hand and see what's going on. Okay, how is that? Oh, a fresh tile and a hot tile is the same thing, really. Um, okay, so let's look at what everybody was playing here. 
uh, this player, South, was playing the 2468 hand with flowers, and they needed two dots, and there were two out. So they had two discards, including our winning tile. No, Gloria, you're not blocked. I see you there. Okay, so West was playing 369 with dragons concealed. They were one away from ready. And that hand has a pair of flowers, and they had their pair secured. So they were one away from ready. And then North was playing 667. Six, seven. Second hand from the bottom under consecutive rim, but they had no flowers. Um, so yeah, they couldn't get flowers. All right. So if we have new players watching, write in caps what your pain points are, and we'll play a game and demonstrate how to cope with those pain points. I don't see any pain points yet, so I'm going to go ahead and join a table. <coughs> Okay, let's see. Diane says, is it possible to type the handout that you are going for as I don't have the same card? Okay, well, during the live stream, I won't have that capability. But in editing, I will see about that. Uh, because I don't pick a hand, I typically play at the category level. So if I pick a hand, I'll see about putting it in a caption. And we'll see how that goes. Okay, so... Here we have one flower, four bams, three cracks, including a pair of sevens, a, a single dot, and then we have single winds and dragons. So I'm going to build around the seven crack. That's where I'm going to start. So I'm going to look at everything left, and I'm going to gather as many as I can to support the seven. In this case, seven, eight, and the south. And probably the dragons, because I may be able to play like numbers with sevens and dragons. So I'm going to hold those tiles, and then I'm going to pick out from the rest a decent pass. So I'm not picking a hand. I could be playing like numbers, or I could play something in Winds and Dragons, or I could play something in Consecutive Run. So we're in between three different categories right now. Here now we have a Pung of Sevens, and then we have a pair of Threes and a West. I don't think we can use a west because east and west goes with evens, so we'll give that up. We have primarily sevens and eights. I'm going to go ahead and give up the eight and the three because we need three tiles to pass. And we have more for sevens than we do the three. We got another seven and we did get another three. but we build around the most of our multiples, which are now sevens, clearly. So we're going to give up a nine, a three, and probably, let's see, we're, we're in between like numbers with sevens and dragons, or north and south with sevens, which has a pair of flowers, but since we have no north, I'm going to give it up. Anytime there's a gap, I, I put that lower on the priority list. With like numbers with sevens, we have no gaps. So that's why I picked like numbers. So now we're in the like number category. We do have tiles that we can pass. So we're going to pass three. Now this is a little risky, but I build my hand first and pass as defensively as possible with my remaining tiles. So I wouldn't break up my hand to pass defensively. I would push forward Okay, so now we have a west that we can pass. I might be tempted to keep the eight bam, but since we have no eight crack for maybe, let's say, uh, or, or even sixes, for example, I, I would give up that eight because we don't have any other supporting tiles for consecutive run. I would focus on like numbers. So if it's Mahjong time, you might close your, your pro, your, um, Let's see, it can't be Mahjong time though, I don't think, because it looks great to me. We got a red, so now we have to make a choice. In this case, I probably would hold on to, let's see, 
I would not pass a pear. We have all the tiles we need. I would not pass a flower. I think I'll pass one, one blind. We're just going to pass two. I don't know if it's mahjong time. Let's see. All right. Anyway, we keep getting threes, and I'm not going to pass threes. Like Passing like numbers, in my opinion, is almost as bad as passing a pair. So the only time I do that is if I'm playing a big hand and I'm very close to being ready. And I'm not. So I'm just going to pass one. One tile. And I believe three bams were going around, so that's what I'm going to give her. Oh, okay. So I'm not sure what's going on with the TV, but okay, we got a two back. So that'll be my first discard, year tiles. So we'll throw that. Two characters. We have four discard, really five discards because we can't use all the dragons. But I'm going to keep them all and see what flushes out. Three bamboos. So we've got no gaps. We just Three need to bamboos. build. I'm going to discard year tiles. Two bamboos. Three dots. So we're discarding year tiles. The nine dot will go next. Now three dot went down. Nobody wanted it, so that'll be a good discard too. Five characters. Let's discard the three dot. Three dots. Now one thing that's interesting is we could maybe keep three the six bamboos. for a while. If we do pick up a six crack, we could three maybe play characters. the six seven pair hand with dragons. We'll see. We'll keep it for a bit. One bamboo. There's a wind. So we'll get rid One of the wind. wind. All right, let's see. I think I answered this question. Nine oh, yes. Diane asked about putting text uh, or showing the card. So right now... The the strongest potential for what Three we're dots. playing is going to be like Nine numbers dots. with sevens and dragons. And the way that particular hand works is Nine you have characters. to have the matching dragon for two Three of the sevens. Characters. So you have, since there's four of every tile, you need two. Okay, there's a joker. We'll keep it. So three we're characters. we're two away now or three away really. Probably the six bam can go. One character. So the light numbers with seven hands would be pair pair pung Nine pung dots. kong. So the pair pair would be a number tile with a matching dragon. The pung pung would be three a number bamboos. tile with a matching dragon and then a four of a kind or kong of the third number. So Six as long characters. as all the numbers are the same, then you can make that work Nine with the corresponding bamboos. dragons. In this case, we have all the dragons, and we can pick red and choose dragon. which to, to play with. Now, that red dragon, there are two out. There's only two, or there's really only one more. So let's get rid of the red dragon, and we'll let that seven red be dragon. our Kong. Two characters. We could maybe move to the first like number hand, which is... A pair of flowers and then Kongs of the Bamboo. same number. Let's go ahead and get rid of the sixes at this Six point. Bamboos. Now the the jokers can be Two used characters. for either the seven dots and dragon or the seven bam and dragon. We have two discards two at, at this point. So we really don't have to make a choice yet until we run out of discards. And this is a concealed hand. So we have flexibility. We just picked up a seven. So now that we have a pung of seven bams, we're going to say those are the pung tiles. So all we need at this point is a green dragon or a seven crack, and we'll be ready to win on a white dragon. So the seven dot white dragon would be pear pear. Seven bam green dragon would be pung pung. And then the seven crack Eight is dots. a Kong. Four colors, four suits. Or not four colors, three colors, three suits. Bam dots, bam bams, and cracks are represented in the hand. I don't know why I said four. I was thinking four four tiles maybe. Two I don't know. Bamboos. So sorry if that was confusing. All right, so let me see here. Somebody asked One another character. question. Um, um, 
Marlise is asking, how does she join the table? I remember something about a code. I play on a different Hmm. app. What is the app? Thanks in advance. All right. Northwind. Bear with me for just a second here. I'm going to get rid of this flower. Bamboo. You know what? I just realized I should have kept that flower and maybe gotten rid of the dragons. We could have played the first hand because we're set for that. We're really set for both, so it's six one half dozen the other. The concealed hand no, is, has five more points, so maybe it's okay. We'll see. We could always go back to it. Five bamboos. Okay, now five let's dots. see if I have this. He, here's the app. I just put it in chat. So, Marlise, if you tap on that link, you can download the app and use Five that bamboos. to play okay there we go we got the green dragon Six so dots. now we're ready to win on a white dragon and there are none out right now no white dragons are out and we are in the middle game so we were able to get ready to win before the end of the third wall and Six we probably dots. have maybe two more picks before the the fourth wall which is the end game uh Six so dots. We need a, a, a white dragon. Pung. Six characters. Five dots. Three characters. Four dots. Marsha, I was thinking that after I had uh, about the flower, I could have gone with the flower hand Four because characters. I would have been set for that. But a pick later, I got that green dragon and went concealed. Seven characters. Okay, we're not taking that. We're, we're ready to win, but it's ready on a white dragon, which is a little Six concerning characters. because there are none out. If somebody has those Three white dragons, characters. even if they're playing the big hand, they, someone, somebody could be playing the big hand, in which case we won't win if they have all those dragons. So we're gonna we're just gonna have to wait and see what happens. Three dots. Now the player to my right could be playing the two, Five four, six, dots. eight hand with dragons. And if that's the case, we might not get that that white dragon. Nine if dots. we pick up a, a seven dot, we can switch eight though characters. and discard a seven bam and be ready on two bamboos. Let's see. Be ready on a seven dot or a white dragon and use the joker. So we'll see. We still have some flexibility here if we get a seven dot. Because I do not know where the white... I don't know where that white dragon is right now. We just need one. We need one 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 white dragon. It might have been a faster win to play the like number hand with flowers. So, it was kind of a six, one, half dozen, the other situation. So, we'll see if we can draw a white dragon or get one out of one of these players. Four bamboos. Um, Wood Kid Squad. How do you email for the code? Southwind. Look for my email in the video description below, and I can send. Okay, now look, we've got that. So I'm going to discard the seven bam. Seven bamboo. And now we can use the pairs for seven bam green, and we're ready to win on a seven dot or a white dragon. So now one of two tiles will give us a win. Oh, there it is. We got it anyway. So there's our win. We we won. Yes, you, you do need to be patient. It's good if you can have your pair secured. So in this case, I wasn't sure if we were going to get the white dragon. And by the way, South was playing, or was it looks like they were in between 2468 with the dragon or 2468 with flowers. And that's probably why we weren't getting the dragon. And this player, East, was playing North and South with ones. They were ready to win. And then... East was playing east and west with eights, and they were one away from ready. They or they had actually two discards. So we have here like numbers with sevens and dragons concealed. 
<laughs> Martha, I don't win every time, but because I build around multiples, I do think I have a higher win ratio. And that's why I talk so much about multiples, building around multiples. It is a very strong um, strategy. And if you play at the category level where you don't pick a hand until you run out of discards, that's called adaptive style of play. That is the best or the most flexible style of play because you gather. You gather all the tiles for the category and you don't pick a hand till you run out of discards. That gives you the greatest flexibility, but you're always building around multiples. So between style and um, being adaptive with style and then building around multiples, those two methods together, you're going to have a higher win ratio typically. Now, you're going to win some and lose some just like everybody else. I've heard that the statistic is about 25% of the wins. And it really just depends, I think, on who you play with and how they play, if they play defensively or not. Because let's say you play with people who are passing pairs and flowers. Uh, you know, I'm going to build around those, so that's going to help me too. If people pass really defensively, then it's going to be more difficult to build your hand during the Charleston. So it really is quite situational. And if you're playing with people you don't know, you, you got to kind of learn other people's habits as well. So there are a lot of things that, a lot of variables that come into play when deciding how you're going to play a particular game. I hope that makes sense. Let's see. Um, oh, thank you very much, Evelyn, Gloria, Christine. Martha says, I do those things, but I think I'm not patient enough. Oh, good. Yeah, sometimes, even though it's hard and it can be painful, if you stick it out and trust the process, it does work. Now, we have here a pair of two BAMs with four, five, six, and so those are our BAMs. We have one, four, five cracks and then a single two dot and a green dragon. We have a joker and a flower and one wind. So I'm thinking maybe we could play two, four, six, eight and we have the matching dragon. There's actually a hand in the two, four, six, eight category with the matching dragon. So I'm going to hold all evens and that gives me three tiles to pass. So I'm just going to hold all evens. I don't care what suit it is. I'm just going to gather. When I run out of discards, I'll whittle down and pick a hand or just try to release more discards. So right now we have three discards. We didn't get, we got odds and a north. So we can, we still don't have to pick a hand. We can just pass. Now, one thing though, we did pick up a five. So we have two five, but really the only way we can use that is if we do the very first hand or maybe two, three, four, five quint. I think we could go ahead and give up maybe the four, the four crack. We'll keep the two because we might be able to do like numbers with twos. We just got an eight dot, but our, our pair is with the two bam. We do have one, two, one, two, four, five. So if we use this joker maybe for the missing three, we do have a run. So I would probably go ahead and give up on the six bam. And at this point, the two, the three dot, let's say that'll be a better pass. Six, eight, three, three, eight dot, six bam. So if we can get a three bam, we could play that consecutive, the first consecutive run hand. We just picked up a one bam. So now we have three multiples, one, two, five. So I think we should focus on consecutive run. So we're going to move from evens to consecutive run. And we do have three tiles to pass. I think at this point, too, we could probably give up that dragon, the green dragon. We have three tiles to pass, though, so we really don't have to yet. Okay, Gloria, I don't understand your question. When passing, are you different? What do you mean? When passing, are you different? I'm not sure what that means. Okay, so we're going to pass seven crack, one dot, red dragon. That's a really good pass. The one and the seven are super far apart. If we can get a three bam, we'll have no gaps for the first consecutive run hand. We picked up a four bam, so now we have another multiple. We do have a pair of greens. 
I'm going to I'm going to pass the three dot and the green dragon and pass one blind. Oh, with when passing are you defensive? Yes, I I try always to pass defensively. It's asking how many tiles I want in the courtesy. They're wanting two. I'll do two. Let's see here. I don't think we could use this green and I think we're just going to pat. We'll break it up. We, we only have four discards, so we don't have enough really to hold on to Joker Bait. Usually Joker Bait works out in the third wall, and because we have so few discards, I don't think a pair is going to help us right now. We have a gap. We have no three bam, but we can use Jokers for that. Otherwise, we're ready to pung the two and the four for that very first consecutive run hand. So I'm going to discard the east first. Red dragon. Uh, okay, we're going to we're going to pass on that. We'll keep the green dragon for the stupid hand. What what green is? Dragon. Are you talking about the four or third hand from the bottom under consecutive run with three flowers? One. Character. I wouldn't do that personally because I would have green to throw dragon. away two multiples. I would rather play a hand that uses Ten all the multiples, characters. and that's why I'm playing the first consecutive Red run hand. All we need is a three Green man, dragon. and nobody the the dragons are going down, so I'm going to discard them. Green dragon. So because we have no three bam, I'm going to define that Joker. You just One double dime. click on it, and it pulls up a dialog box. You find the tile you're missing, and then it'll define it for you. So now the game knows Two what hand characters. we're, we're going to go for. They can look at your tiles and know what hand you're playing. White so if we end up getting two more jokers, it'll know we want that to be a three bam. Seven bamboos. That, the only time you need to define a joker is if you have a gap. Eight bamboos. And our gap is a three bam. Quint. Whoa, we've got a quint. So I want to discard wins and eights. Seven bamboos. Or maybe six, seven, eight. Six, eight seven, eight. Bamboos. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight bams. Seven characters. Red dragon. They're not going to get any eights out of me, so if they One need dot. a pair of five bams, they'll be in trouble for that very first eight quint. Dots. There's an eight dot. There's a hesitation. I bet they are playing like numbers with Five eights, characters. quint. So now we have another joker. All we need is one more three bam, and we'll be set. Five dots. Mar um, Marsha D eight says. Characters. Marsha D says that the third hand from the bottom. Moves. We're gonna pung. Pung. We'll discard a two dot. Two dots. So uh, it's called a, I guess it's called a dumb hand because it's the easiest hand on the card. I'm not sure about Five that. Bamboos. Okay, we don't need that. And who threw that? Okay, now the player to my right playing the quint threw that five bam. So mo Two they're not bamboos. probably playing that consecutive quint. I think they're playing either the like Eight number quint characters. or the wind quint. There are no south south and there are no north south right now, so we'll have to wait and see. One character. But they there was a hesitation with that eight dot, so five I think bamboo. I think and they just discarded another five bam. So I think they are playing the like number quint with five eights, characters. and they could be playing the wind quint as well. Five characters. And we know they're not playing the dragon Nine quint because characters. there are three green dragons out. So they're going to be playing. Like Nine numbers dots. with opposite dragons, and there's already a white dragon out and two red Eight dragons. Characters. So I'm kind of thinking they're going to go for Nine a wind characters. quint. They're probably going to try to play Nine a wind dots. quint. Otherwise, they're going to need jokers because the dragons dragon. are out. Now there's there and there are two eight cracks Four out and there's characters. a white dragon out. They're probably playing a, a wind quint. East wind. So, in that case, I'm going to get rid of the flower now. Bamboo. I do Ooh, not want to be characters. stuck with flowers, so every flower I get, I'm going to discard. We need a joker or a three bam to get set, uh, to be ready to, or, yeah, no, to be set. 
So let's throw seven bam. Seven bamboo. We need a three bam. Seven characters. A three bam would be ideal, or a joker. Nine dots. Seven dots. We got the three bam. One bamboo. So now I can undefine it. And that way we can use it dragon. interchangeably with the four if it doesn't go down. So Seven we're characters. one away from ready to win now on a three three bam, four bam is what we're one looking dot. for. So let's get rid of the three dot. Three dots. We need to con the three bam and pung the four bam. So the convention for this hand is one suit. Pair, pung, kong, two characters. pung, pair. It's like a pyramid. Pair, pung, kong, Three pung, dots. pair. The one bam Three is dots. a pair. Then the two bam is a pung, which we already one have character. out. Then we need a kong of three bams, pung of four bams, and then the two pair of five characters. bams, which we already have. West wind. Let's see. I'm getting rid of the six bam. Six bamboos. Pung. I'm glad I did that. West wind. We're in the end game South right wind. about now. I'm going to hold the eight because there are three Six out. That's dots. a good fresh tile. In the end game, you want to hold tiles that are either in exposures or have been discarded. So it's kind of the Pung. opposite. In the begin and middle game, you want to you want to hold tiles that have not been thrown. We're going to pung. Pung. And then I'll discard the eight, and we're ready on a three bam. Eight characters. So during the begin and middle oh game, God. you want to hold tiles that have not been discarded because you want to see if you can use those in exchange for jokers and exposures. But in the three end characters. game, the fourth wall, you do the opposite. You hold tiles that have Four been... Characters. Okay, we got Mahjong. So we got the very first consecutive run hand. Pair, pung, kong, pung, pair. One through five in one suit. The mountain hand, uh, a lot of people call that a pyramid in Mahjong. So what I was talking about as far as what to discard when, in the end game, you want to do the opposite of what you do in the begin and middle game. You hold tiles that you know are safe because you're now in the play, in the in the phase of the game where people are getting ready. You know they've had time to build their hand and maybe get ready to win or call discards to make exposures. So you want to hold tiles that you think are safe and discard fresh tiles, especially if you're playing to win. You want to get the freshest tiles out first as quickly as possible. At some point, you have to de decide whether or not you want to play to win or switch to defense and break up your hand in order to pa uh, to discard safe tiles. So uh, the fourth wall, the end game, it gets a little tricky. If, I'm, if I am three tiles away from ready, I will typically play to win. If I'm ready to win, getting towards the end of the game, I play to win. More times than not, unless I know it's a big hand. If they're con fully concealed and they could be playing a pair hand and I'm playing a 25 point hand, I might break up my hand, wondering that they may be playing a pair hand. Or if it's a quint, for example, I might also break up my hand. But if, if they're playing another 25 point hand or something like that, then I'll play to win and I'll risk discarding a hot tile in order to win. So let's see what everybody was doing. Here, East was playing a quint. They could not get j the jokers they needed. They had a pair of flowers. They needed another flower, and they needed another joker. But they did secure a, a Kong of wins. So all they needed was a joker and a flower or another joker to help them there. So South was, let's see, they were playing 369. 3669, they had a pair of flowers which is a, a challenge because we're in the end game and they had a pair of flowers to get rid of. Uh, it looks like they were playing the 369 hand number two, which is Pung Kong, Pung Kong, and they had a pair of flowers, which is really risky to keep a hold of during the end game. In this case, it would have been safe for her to discard because only one, let's see, no, the this player 
let's see, West, they were playing the first 2468 hand, and it looks like, or they were playing the 2468 dragon hand, second from the bottom. But if the South had thrown one of the flowers, they may have dis or one uh, claimed that for the flower, discarded the white dragon, and maybe play for the very first 2468 hand, which is probably what I would have done. So having flowers in the end game, that's kind of risky. I, if I'm not using them, I try to discard them before the end of the third wall. Flowers, dragons, and tiles that have not yet been thrown or have not been shown in exposures. You don't want to have risky tiles in the end game. Okay, let's see. Somebody's asking, what does fawn mean? Fawn is like... It's sort of like a point. It's a value. Um, fawn is, in Asian versions, the value of a combination of tiles. And it could be the whole hand, but it could also be a portion of the hand. And since this, ver this platform has multiple versions, the final score will be shown in fawn. But that's also like points. Okay, so let's go ahead and join a table. We'll join this one here. All right, so does anybody have any questions or do you want to focus on any particular style, um, concept, or strategy in this next game? Write it in caps if you want to focus on any particular thing, whether it's, I don't know, switching a hand, a, a defensive strategy, a particular strategy like joker bait, which we always talk about anyway, or style of play. Let me know in the comment section in caps if you want to focus on something in particular. All right, so this will be a really great hand because we have no multiples. This happens often when you have no multiples. If you have no multiples, you look for the predominant pattern. So you just systematically go through the categories quickly. And here, what I see most of is either three, six, nine, or six through nine. We could even do five through nine. So we do have nines and we have a north south. Let's go ahead and give up the nine we could maybe do five seven nine so let's give up the dragon the one dot and a two bam and let's see what comes in we could play three six nine we could play five seven nine and we could play north and south with nines we just picked up a north so that's our first multiple so i would reassess anytime you get a new multiple you reassess so here we have nines uh norths a pair of norths and a south we have nines we don't have any other odd number in two different suits just the nines so i think we should go ahead and give up two four eight that's a little bit risky but we still don't have a very strong potential hand here. Okay, now we've got another nine. So now that will help me solidify my direction because now we have a pair of norths and a pair of nines. I'm kind of thinking we could try for north and south with nines or three, six, nine. So let's give up the one, the eight, and the five. Let's see. We really don't need that four though. It's a little risky, but I think that's okay. Let's see. Evelyn said in the morning, in the evening, ain't we got fun? Oh, okay. I get it. All right. We picked up a south. So we have north and south with nine. Let's give up the four, which was going around. We'll give up the four. Looks like we lost a player. Pup's mom, anytime you see Otto Charleston, that means they they had to leave the table. Oh, huh. They got company. She just wrote that in chat. So she had to leave the game. That's a bummer. Okay, so we're playing with a robot now. That robot will not pass defensively, I don't think. So here we have 248. 
we are passing across, so I want to pass defensively. So let's do two. Let's see. We do still have some 369. I think I would at this point give up a 6 to try to pass defensively. At least we could put an odd number in there. We're, we're hoping for north and south with nines. That would be the fourth hand down under Winds and Dragons. What's needed for that hand is a pair of flowers, pair of north, pair of south, and then Kongs of two nines. So we have a pair of north, pair of south, we have a pair of nine bams, and a single nine crack. All we need is a flower, which is a gap right now, but one flower will do. Even one. Oh my gosh, we just got sevens. We've got tiles to pass, so I'm going to hold the sevens. Let's see here. Maybe I'll give one up because we don't need all the sevens. Let's give one up. Let's pass one of each suit. We really don't need both sevens. You might think, well, why not try five, seven, nine? We have no fives. I'd rather focus on north and south with nines or hold winds. We just picked up a west, so I would hold that. So let's see what our opponent wants. I want to wait it out because if they want one, I will decline. So we're going to wait it out. They want three. We could do three. We do have five, seven in different suits. Oh, we have a, a multiple of three. So let's, let's keep the three. We may not be able to use it as joker bait because we have five discards. Those threes might have to go soon, pretty soon. Okay, we got a north and a nine. If we had jokers, I might try for a quint here. Nines with north. But we have discards, so we really don't have to pick a hand yet. We're just going to gather. So right now we're in the wind and dragon category. We're just going to gather until we run out of discards. We have three, three we had three, six, nine potential Seven throughout. Million. We're going to pass on that. <coughs> Five bamboo. If nothing else, we have safe discards with these wins. Seven characters. Okay, we picked up a nine dot. That'll Six give us a nice option. Characters. Because we need a Kong of nines. One character. We need two Kongs of nines. But I don't want to commit yet until I fill that gap. We have no flowers right now. So we do have, yeah, we don't need a flower. Even if we played north and south, One east, west dragon. with the year. One bamboo. I don't, I don't think I would give up, break up a Pung. Red dragon. Plus, there's a south out. We have no jokers. Eight dots. I think I would rather try for north and south with nines. One character. North and south with nines, I think, is a good, Eight strong characters. option. Eight dots. Five bamboos. So maybe the west Seven can go. Characters. And then the north Seven can go. Characters. And we can give up the three cracks, maybe. Because the other thing I'm thinking, if we draw more wins, we could maybe play characters. win. Oh, now there's a, con a pung of threes. Let's get rid of the wins. West win, two dots. Let's hope someone needs three West cracks. Win. Two dots. Um, oh yeah, we could have done maybe news, news with, yeah, I wasn't thinking about the news pair hand because we have a pung of nines, but we oh could maybe do that. There are two East wests wind. out and two easts are out now, and also now we have a joker. North wind. So I'm thinking Three the north and south with nines, surely we'll draw one flower to get ready oh, for that. Moves. If we can get one flower, I'll feel a little better. Two characters. One flower. Let's see if we can Seven get one. Characters. There Five are eight, dots. and there are only four players. So you'd think that the Two chance dots. of getting a flower would be pretty good. Three bamboos. 
Five bamboos. Four characters. West wind. East wind. Okay, Five so dots. we're Eight we're in the middle bamboos. game until right about right about above where my joker is. Four so dots. we're gonna hold on to these threes. We might let one Two go characters. here in a minute. We gotta, Seven we've got to kind of chum the water, as it were, and see if Seven anyone will bamboos. bite on a three. But you want to wait until they're desperate for their tiles. South wind. So you don't want to discard it too soon because they may not three be ready dots. for it. Okay, now we'll get rid of it. Three characters. Okay, nobody wanted it. Four characters. So we're ready to con the nines. All we need Nine is... Bamboos. Okay, we'll con. And we'll get rid of the three. three We've got to get a flower. That's three where bamboos. that's our weakness at the moment. Oh, here's another thing. Oh, someone got a win. All right, we are two away. So we have evens with the wind or the dragon. I mean, so they won with the two, four, six, eight hand with dragons pair, pung, kong of dragons, pung pair, pyramid. So two, four, six, eight with the matching dragon. Very nice. And then here we have a hand for, it looks like consecutive run, second from the bottom. They needed a Kong of Flowers, pair six, seven in one suit, um, pair six, pung seven, pair six, pung seven in another suit. But they had a Kong of sixes. I think maybe they were in between six, seven, the third hand from the bottom with white dragons, but there was already a white dragon out. They needed a pung. They did have a, a two jokers. So they were probably in between the uh, third from the bottom and the second from the bottom hand, one or the other. And then the play, the player who left the table, it's kind of hard to tell what they were playing because a, a bot took over. And then, of course, here we were uh, two away from ready. We needed a flower. Okay, let's see. We'll join this table here. Hopefully, we can play two more hands. Let's see how it goes. If you want to work on anything in particular, okay, here. For the next hand, illustrate the question in caps. Okay, I didn't see a question in caps. Uh, let's see. Illustrate the question in caps, Martha. Uh, let's see. Um, were you talking? Let's see. Can you repeat it? Because I don't see a question in caps. Martha, can you repeat what you want to work on? Because I don't see a question in caps in here. I don't know why. Okay, we have a pair of norths and a pair of nines. So I'm going to hold the multiples. Let's see. I think since we're holding north, I'm going to keep the dragons too. We, it looks like we almost have the same situation here. Look at all these three, six, nines that we have going. We have two tiles to pass. So let's, let's see. Three, six, nine. Let's give up a dragon. Okay, let's see. It's above. Okay. I'm really having a I'm really having a hard time finding it though. Um oh we got another three. Look, we have a hand here. Let's go ahead and focus on three six nine and give up the not the north. So um Martha, I, I cannot find your question. If you could retype it, please, if it's not too much trouble. Are you talking about the which I'm not quite sure about that. I don't know if that is any easier than any other hand. I think it's probably of equal difficulty. Um, let's see. We have two tiles to pass, and we do have three, six. We have a lot of three, six, nine potential here. We're going to give up the two. We could play three, six, nine knitted. 
let's see, that would be the third hand down under 369, which is Kong of three in one suit, Pung of sixes in a second suit, Kong of nines in the first suit, and a Pung of the matching dragon for the six. And we have all the tiles we need for that. But if we can get a three, let's see here. Yeah, I think that particular hand might be the strongest and then maybe use the three crack as joker bait. Okay, let's see. Okay, show. Here we go. Let's see. Expose and use jokers anywhere. Okay. I see my question, but it must not be going through. Yeah, I don't see it, and I don't see anything hidden in my chat window. I do not see anything that is hidden in, in chat for me. Can you retype the question, perhaps? Because I do not see it. The only question I see for you is, what is the story plan? And I believe we already uh, discussed it. Although I don't think it is necessarily the easiest hand on the card. Uh, I, I think the easiest hands on the card are the second hand down under 2468 consecutive run and 369. Pung Kong, Pung Kong. I think those are the easiest hands on the card. All right, now we have like numbers given to us here. Four, five, we've got fives. So... I would reassess here. Let's just see. They went three tiles to pass. We have 369 capability here. I think I would focus on 369, maybe even keep that dragon and pass two. Let's see. I would not pass like numbers. I'm just going to pass two, especially fives, because fives are all over this card. Let's see. So Martha... H, I only see one question about what is the star hand, and I believe that is being referred to as the fifth hand down under consecutive run, and we don't we don't have the tiles for it. So let's see. Um, so she tried to resend the question, but her computer's having she's having trouble with her computer. Let's see. North wind. Okay, Fine she's going to try again. So she wanted to wanted me to explain what Fine you said about down. holding certain tiles in the early Fine and mid down. game and then holding the opposite in the end. Okay, great. Got it. All right, so bamboo. during when you Fine play bamboo. American Mahjong, we're going to pass on that. We're playing probably some 369 hand. I wouldn't pick a hand yet till we've run out of discards. We're just going to gather every 369 until we've run out of discards. Then we'll pick a hand. Um, so the idea as far as holding tiles, you want to hold tiles in the, in the begin game, which is the second and third wall. Because all four walls are used typically in a game. The first wall you deal out, Green dragon. and then, okay, we have to make a choice. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna commit to that hand. There's one, there's one knitted hand, third hand down, and Nine we joker. don't. I would have to use my only joker, so West I would hand. not commit to that particular hand. There's gonna be another dragon that we could Nine potentially characters. use because we only need a pung for that hand. Two characters. So back to the, the phased approach for strategy. Two characters. The first wall is dealt out and then you're left with a short wall for the second wall. Seven done. Then the third wall is called is where the middle game is. And then the fourth wall is the end Three game. Dots. So in the second and third wall you want to hold tiles that have not been discarded or have not been exposed because you might be able to use them in an exchange for a joker in an exposure later in the game. Okay, so we have a three dot out. I'm not going to take it. We're going to pass. I don't want to use my only joker. Mm -hmm. And I'm also thinking that we're in between the first hand Four and dots. we're in between the third hand down, so 
we don't really need a three dot. What we would need is a um, three bam and six crack. So I'm just going to wait it out. Two bamboos. I'm thinking about the knitted hand. Yes. East wind. There's one green dragon out, but I would have Sounds to use my good. only joker. So that's why I let it go. One bamboo. All right, so now Four back bamboo. to the walls. So during the middle game, the you know the second wall and the and the third wall, you want to hold tiles that have not been discarded. Right now we have Joker bait with the fives, so I'm going to hold on to that as long as I can. No white dragons have been discarded, so I want to hold on to that bamboos. for a little while. But I want to discard them before the end of the third Two wall, bamboos. because once you get into the end game, the last Two wall. Bamboos. You have given your opponents all that Eight time characters. to build their hand and get ready to, to uh, claim discards to make exposures or even win. So at the, en at the end game, the last wall, you want to switch it Two around dollars. and instead, we're going to keep the flower, we'll discard the white dragon. So one instead dragon. of holding tiles that are fresh, that have not been in exposures or discarded, you want to do the opposite and you want to hold tiles that have been discarded and have been exposed because you know they're going to be safe to discard in the end game. So we want to give ourselves tiles that are safe to discard in the last wall. We want to get rid of fresh tiles as quickly as possible because you want to... M mitigate the risk of those fresh One tiles dot. being discarded when people have had time to prepare their Eight hand characters. to claim discards and, and complete blocks to Six and make dot. exposures with your discards. So right now we are in Four the middle characters. game still. If you look at this big wall here, or at half, we have a half a wall to the right and then we have Seven almost characters. a full wall in front of us. But really... Hmm. About half that wall is the is part of the last wall. You kind of have to visualize a, a full length of a wall. Seven so I would eight. say right above the five bam is going to be the end of Eight's the third gone. wall. Quint. That is where the end game will begin. So in about two more picks, I need to break up this joker bait and discard one of these fives. Because I don't want to be sitting here with a fresh tile. No five cracks are out yet. Right now, those are fresh tiles. So by maybe one more pick, I'm going to discard one and see if I can get a joker out of it. We'll see. North wind. Oh, that's okay, uh, Martha. No worries. Okay, now I think with this next pick, we might need to get maybe maybe one more one more pick and then we'll get rid of the five crack because now we're almost at a full wall you see this split wall here that's almost a full one wall dragon. so i'm going to discard the five crack next and i'm going to now hold tiles that have been discarded already okay now we have to make a choice here nine dot let's go ahead and kong, kong. with our only joker Five characters. Someone gonna take it with a joker? No, there was a hesitation though. So we're in between Nine the first dots. hand and the third hand down. Unfortunately, someone took our tile. Three dots. Okay, we can't take it. We used our only joker. So we're stuck. But we still have potential. Uh, or we could play the first hand, although we have a gap. We have no three bam. Seven dots. Okay, eight. There's one out. I don't think we're going to use this flower. I'm going to get rid of the flower. Chrysanthemum. Because we're in the end game. I do not want to hold a flower. So this, we don't know who, who someone needed one flower. Do you see that hesitation? Two Somebody dots. needs flowers. I do not want to hold on to flowers. Four characters. There's another one. I'm going to get rid of it. Bamboo. Okay, next I need to get rid of this 8 BAM because I don't know what Quint they're playing. Kong. Okay, they need Four this 8 bamboo. BAM. They didn't take it. Let's see here. Where's the 8 BAM? That was a while ago. I might actually play defense and keep it. East wind. There's another flower. Orchid. So the Quint player, they need this 8 BAM. I'm thinking of switching to defense. 
three characters. We could pung with no harm. Pung. We still have a gap. We have no three bam, but none are out. So we still do have some potential for the first three, six, nine, but more likely than not, I'm going to play defense and break up my hand. But I have no jokers exposed, so there's no harm. North wind. Okay, four dot is out. What I should have done is discarded the five, even though nobody wanted it. There are two, three dots out. No six cracks are out. But that's part of my potential hand if I do happen to get a three ban. So probably the five crack should go next. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of the five. Okay, so Bonnie says, I thought your rule of thumb was to commit to defense at the beginning of the last wall if you need five tiles or more. Okay, so... At the beginning of the of the end Nine game, bamboos. I did consider switching oh. to defense, and I'm still probably going to play defense and break up my hand Six because at, right now we we have we have three discards and we're clearly King in the dogs. end game. But we did pick up one of our tiles. I, I'm probably going to just dragon. play defensively at this point. If you have three or four tiles from your winning hand. Play to win, but it depends on what is going on at the table. Because there's a queen eight out there, bamboo. I am... Okay, they got their eight bam. So, it's very situational. All these strategies are, are... They're not rules, they're guidelines. And it's very situational. You have to, to consider the variables or the situations that are happening at the table. At the, begin, at the beginning of the end game... I still was playing potentially two different hands. And for one of the hands, I had a gap. And for the other hand, I had only one joker. So I was still hoping to draw the tiles I needed to play to win. But because I was in between, I had one joker and a potential gap. And there was a quint at the table. I was more strongly considering defense at that point just because of the quint at the table, and that's why I kept the eight bam. So I, I hope that makes sense. Uh, let's see. I did, I did Kong with the Joker, but that was still in the middle game. And I still had hope at that point for two different hands that I was playing. So I don't think that was a bad call. Uh, and it was one Joker and... It was the, let's see here, let me put my hand back here. It was the player to my right who took the joker. And it looks like they were playing 369. 369, I don't know, what are they doing? 369 mix suit Kongs, but they had no three crack. So I'm not sure if they would even have been able to use that joker. And then, of course, here they discarded the 8 bam into that quint. And then here we had an addition hand. They needed flowers and could not get flowers. Incidentally, this is why I don't play addition unless I have at least two or three flowers. Because, look, they couldn't get flowers. They weren't able to complete their hand. Flowers are kind of hard to get. And then here we are in between some kind of 369 hand. Okay, let's see what uh, let's see if what else we have here. I'm just gonna check out chat. Oh, the one crack emoji that is part of my channel member um, badges. If you become a channel member on YouTube, over time you get different um, different tiles by your name as just a little thank you to supporting my channel. So Martha H. is a channel member. So if you want to become a channel member, you can have um, different characters on there. And I think I have one crack, and then I think I have dragons um, for the upper tiers. Let's see. Um, let's see. Yes, so Martha's been a channel member for a month, and that's why she has a one crack. 
and then I think I have um, white, white, green, or white, green, and red dragons, or white, red, and green, I think. I'm not sure um, what the levels are. I forget. But you get the longer you're a channel member, the higher rank of tile you get as a sort of, um, it's like a, a badge. Let's see here. Martha says, oh, I see. It's not in the main chat. The red box. I'm not sure about a red box, but shall we try to play one more game? One more game? Is everybody up for one more game? Let's see here. We'll try one more game. I'm happy to do one more. Oh, okay, so that's weird. See these gray people? That means they have open seats, but it said that the seats were taken. But it looks like they're... That's very strange. Okay, so we'll join another table here. Okay, yeah, we'll play one more. One more, uh, one more game. All right, we're going to play one more game. What shall we focus on? Any particular strategy that you want to see demonstrated? We could force a hand. We could um, force a category. We could talk through strategy by wall, which we've been talking about quite a bit through this live stream. Uh, let's see. We just are waiting for players. And then we'll play one more game. If you are new to the game, in caps, write any kind of pain point in chat, and we'll try to demonstrate some way to cope with that pain point or to adapt and overcome. Uh, are you, uh, let's see, Jay Atwood, are you talking about the, the player table on Mahjong Time looks different on a Mac? Uh, you, so Brian, hi Brian, you want me to play uh, a year hand, any year hand, so force a year hand, the, any hand from the year category? Okay, uh, let's see, hmm, I don't have a Mac, so I, I don't have a basis of comparison. Play anything but consecutive run. Okay. Evelyn said wipe them out. Okay, I would like to do that. That'd be nice. So play anything but consecutive run. Okay, Brian, when you say year hand, you mean the big year hand or a year hand, any year hand? We could do any year hand, any year hand. Okay, we'll do a year hand. We'll force a year hand before we get our tiles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep every tile in the year category wins dragons 219 we're just going to gather and it doesn't matter what suit it is well and flowers too of course because there's one hand in there that uses flowers so we're going to hold flowers year tiles wins and dragons and there's even a year hand under wins and dragons incidentally the second hand down that's kind of unusual that was a surprise on this card I don't know if I've ever seen a year hand in the Wind and Dragon category before. Uh, Andrew, yes, the tile, the lifted tile is a setting. I'm not sure. Oh, oh, let's see. Okay. Okay. All right, so we're waiting for one more player and then we're going to force a year hand. This is a great skill to build if you like to play in special events or tournaments. Because at tournaments, a lot of times they'll pick a category and the first hand in a category will win a prize. Sometimes they pick a specific hand. So having this skill is really great for those situations. 
So here we go. We're going to hold your tiles. We have a nine, a south, and a, a red dragon. We've got dragons. So let's hold the dragons, the wind, two winds, and the nines. So we've got our marching orders. Let's pass defensively here. One of the fours, because we have all three fours. So we'll do four, seven, six dot. Four, seven crack and a six dot. That's as safe as we can get it. All right, so we've got your tiles here. I'll separate it with the flower. So let's see what we get. I wouldn't pick a hand, not yet. We have way too many discards. We didn't get any keepers, but we do have joker bait and we've got lots of discards. So let's keep the fours or the four dot, I should say. Let's pass one of each suit. Oh no, I don't have dots. Let's keep the fours. We'll do four bam, five crack, seven crack, or seven bam. I think I'm getting tired, seven bam. Four bam, seven bam, five crack. And we're holding year tiles because we're gonna force a year hand. We got year tiles. So we're gonna keep them. Two, one, west. We've got, we need to break up the four dot and the, we'll pass the six. So now we have to give something up. So I think we have, let's focus on the year category and give up a south. So let's, let's focus on the year category, not, win, not the one in the Winds and Dragons um, category. That north-south with the year and east-west, let's give up on that one and focus on the year category because there are four hands there that we can pick from. Okay, so we don't have any keepers, but we did pick up a multiple. Now, we do have five discards, and if we get everything we want, if we get all year tiles, I'm going to be stuck with a pair of four cracks. So I'm going to break it up now. I'm just going to break up the four because we only have five discards to get only our year tiles. We have all the tiles in the year category except for two with that. Okay, we didn't get any keepers. That's okay. We'll keep going. Pass defensively here. I like North. I think that's a really pretty hand too. It's really hard though. I think North and South with dragons. Third hand down. Kong North South with pairs of each of the dragons. That's a really hard hand. Okay, we got a South back, and we got a Four back too. So there's a South. We have pair a pair of fours. I think I would continue to break it up though and pass defensively. We still have optional cross, so I broke up the pair. Okay, we got an east. We could maybe do that concealed hand. We did get the four back. Let's see. They want three. We're kind of in between the concealed hand and the very first hand. But we do have, let's just pass two. Next live stream, do more forces. Sure, we can do that on Thursday night. Thursday night is the next live stream. So if you, if you come, Martha, to the next live stream, Thursday night, 7 p.m. Eastern, Remind me, and we'll do more force, forcing hands. And we'll have, we'll have viewers throw out what to force, whether it be a category or a particular hand. Okay, we got another east. So that's, you know, kind of joker bait. We don't really need it. Let's get rid of the east, though, because... 
we're playing Wind. we're playing to the 2019 category year category there's Wind. one Wind. hand in there that uses news we don't need a pair we lost a player it looks like so we're in between the concealed hand and i think the first hand we do still have a little potential for the dragon Wind. hand but we will see Sound wind. Okay, we have a flower now. Because we have a pair of flowers, I would probably focus on either the first one or the third one down. So I would say most likely the first hand is going to be the best one. We have a gap, though. We need a one crack. We can use jokers for it, though. Four dots. Okay, we got our white dragon. Now let's get rid of the fours. Four We're still in between. We can play the first hand. We could play Three the third characters. hand down. And we could still play the news concealed hand. Four characters. So we'll see how this goes. No dragons. That means someone's holding dragons. And we might get a joker out of them. Eight characters. So let's, let's, um, let's try for the first hand with a potential for the dragon hand. All we need in here are one cracks and jokers maybe to help us with these one cracks. We have a gap. But when you're forcing hands, this is what it comes to sometimes. So now we have the potential for the second hand down. Let's go ahead at this point and give up the dragons. Green dragon. Nobody wanted it. We're, Green bamboo. It looks like we could maybe play the second hand down in mixed suits. Green or the bamboos. first hand if we get one crack. Five bamboos. Let's get rid of the dragon. Red dragon. Nobody wanted it. So now I'm going to hold the seven. Eight because there's an east and a south out. Nobody wanted Eight them. Dots. I want to get rid of these winds and I want to hold number tiles. Because those Eight number tiles bamboos. are going to be more likely to be in exposures. South we'll hold the west for a little bit. But nobody wanted Two the east dots. that was the first discard. Maybe somebody's playing east and west and they weren't ready for it. We'll hold the west for a little while. Three characters. There's another white dragon. So Last I'm thinking win. at this point, the second hand down looks pretty good. Four bamboos. The second hand down, we have Three no gaps. Wins. We are definitely light with our tiles, but we have no gaps. Eight characters. What's going on? Oh, there we go. Okay, south is out. South wind. If we play the second hand down in mixed suits, two zero one nine, the convention is one Red suit dragon. a pung of twos, then a kong of white dragons, and then second suit with a pung kong Red of ones dragon. and nines. And we have no gaps. Okay, now yeah, let's get rid of the west. Yeah, we definitely need, well, if we play the first hand, we need a nine bam. But if we play the second hand down, we don't need a nine bam. We're in between. I'm going to hold them all until we have to make a decision. But if a nine dot goes down, we're going to have to make a choice. Let's, we can't take that. I was hoping someone would take it with jokers. Four characters. We'll get rid of the west. So now we have no wins. We've got... Number tiles, three, crack, six dot, seven, bam. Six dot. There are, there are, there's one, three, let's see. There are West two, three wind. cracks out, so that's what we'll discard first. West wind. Okay, now we have joker bait with sevens. Three characters. The seven, bam. We don't need seven, bam, but we're going to hold on to it. Six dot. Right about until the south, where the south is. We have about three more picks, and then we'll get West rid of the joker wind. bait. Unless we start drawing what we Five what we bamboos. need. Okay, there's a joker for us. Six dots. So that joker could be bamboos. could be a one crack for us. Maybe. I don't want to define Six it yet dots. though. Because we still have potential for the second hand down on Two the right. Bamboos. 
we have to decide right now. Since we have, no, you know what? We're going to pass because there are, there's still another two bam out. Four bam out. We could, we could still play either the first or second hand and we only first need a pung of two bams. bams. So if we let that first one go, if another one goes, North is discarded, North. we can make a decision at that point and commit seven to the second bam. hand down. Here's a seven bam and nobody wanted it. So we'll discard that. Seven now we have three flowers. The very first hand requires a Kong of flowers. So I think Nine, we can go ahead and commit to that, which means that this, dra this joker is a one crack. So I'm going to define it. One character. And we, we have no gaps with that one crack. Thankfully, we can use jokers for it. And we have three discards. Green dragon. Uh, you can use any two on the second Three hand. Dots. Yep, except I have no other twos. So yes, Marsha, that's true. We could use any two for the second hand in mixed suits, but I have no other two to rely on. One bamboo. And also, we Green have three dots. flowers. I want to leverage those flowers. And we need... White dragon. Okay, so we'll discard that. I will not take that. Um, there are no nine bams out right now. If we can get even one one crack or another joker, we'll be set. Five bamboos. Our weakness is the one crack two right characters. now. We've got the nine bam. So one we have our 2019 bamboo. now. We can con the flower. What we one really bamboo. need is a one crack. We need a one crack badly. The seven bam one is a safe bamboo. discard, so I'm going to hold that and discard the one two dot. bamboos. Three crack is a good discard, so I'm going to hold that. Because we're in the end game. One you want to hold tiles that have been discarded. So the seven bam, there are Easy two bam. out. And the three crack, there are three. So I'll triage those. Give up the seven first, because there are two out. Red dragon. Okay, we got another joker. So we're ready now to seven bamboos. pung the one crack. It's going to be risky, though, because we'll put out two Eight jokers. Bamboos. So I don't know if anyone's going to throw out a flower at this late stage. We'll see. Okay, here we go. Three crack. Now, we're ready to win on a flower or one crack. Two dots. Ready to win on the first hand under the year category. Three dots. Green dragon. We got it. Mahjong. We got the year hand. Okay, Brian, there's your year hand. We wouldn't have been able to do it without jokers because we had a gap. Okay. So we went a little over our uh, end time. I hope that was okay with everybody. And I hope that you enjoyed the live stream. It was fun forcing hands. I enjoyed that very much. So we'll try to do that again Thursday night. So <clears throat> just to remind you of the live streams. Uh, thanks, Mar uh, Martha. Um, so for the live stream schedule, just to remind you, because it is a little different with the new year. <clears throat> and it seems to be working out well for people. People are enjoying it, so I'll keep doing it. So the live stream schedule is thusly. Tuesday afternoon from 2 to 3 or 3 to 4 30 Eastern is American Mahjong live stream for beginners. We typically will talk about fundamentals in how to pick a hand, style of play, um, basic strategy. Thursday night, 7 p.m. Eastern until 8 30 is going to be open play and we'll, we'll, we'll just chat and talk about strategy. Um, and we won't put a, you know, we won't make it just fundamentals. We'll talk about everything as far as strategy and methodologies and things like that. So that's Thursday night. Then I live stream every Sunday night unless I'm traveling or something comes up. But typically every Sunday night I will live stream at 7 p.m. Eastern. The first Sunday is American Mahjong. Second Sunday is Mahjong Competition Rules. Third Sunday is Siamese Mahjong. Fourth Sunday is Ricci Mahjong. And then a fifth Sunday will be Hong Kong Mahjong. Maybe some Taiwanese.
depending on if there's interest. So that is the schedule. This is written in my About page on my YouTube channel. It's also written on my About uh, section on my Facebook group. <clears throat> okay, so Table Talk is the first Tuesday of the month. The next Table Talk, trying to remember what we're doing on the next Table Talk. So let me just look really quick here. Oops. Table Talk is a live variety show where we talk about Mahjong, different topics. And my computer's hanging up on me here. Let's see here. Okay, here we go. Table Talk. Oops. Table Talk. The next table talk we're going to be, at this point, the, the schedule, and I need to confirm it, but um, we're going to talk to Debbie Barnett, who's the author of Unlocking the Secrets of American Mahjong. She wrote a book, and it, it's basically uh, like a primer for American Mahjong. So we're going to have her on, and I'll interview her and talk about her book and about some other things about what she does for the community. So that is the next Table Talk, next, the first Tuesday, which is February 4th. Okay, let's see. Let me just check out chat and see what we're doing. Um, oh, excellent, Brian. Well, I'm glad you are here. If you're available on Thursday night, we'll do another live stream. We'll do more Forcing Hands. We could even do another year hand if you want. Let's see, uh, Marsha D is asking, when will I be coming to New York City? That is on our short list for uh, vacation. We would love to come up to New York. So I hope to be up there. And if I do, I'll definitely have an event posted. Anytime I travel, I try to do a one night dedicated to meet up and play Mahjong with local players. So if I go up that way, look for an event for meet up on my Facebook page. Let's see. Oh, thank you, Evelyn. I am feeling so much better. I didn't cough one time, and I didn't have to blow my nose. All right, so if there are no more questions, I will go ahead and, and sign off. Oh, yeah, Denver. I have family in Colorado, so I'm not sure if I'm, I may be coming out to Colorado sometime this year because my, my stepdaughter may be getting married. So I might just be out in Colorado in the Colorado Springs area, though, uh, sometime this year. I'm not sure yet when. So, um, not on Facebook. Uh, Marsha, do you not do Facebook? Well, we'll, we'll see. Um, we'll, we'll coordinate and we'll do our best. I, I try to um, do a meetup with plenty of notice so that people could... Uh, arrange it to try to be there because it's so much fun doing meetups and playing Mahjong together. Uh, I will also mention schedules in live streams and let you know. So if you don't do Facebook, um, you can come to my live streams or watch the videos and maybe I could do channel updates when I'm about to travel and, and broadcast the information that way as well. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, you could always private message me as well. Um, through Facebook, well, if you don't use Facebook, you could send me an email. My email's in the video description below. We can become friends through email. We could be pen pals and communicate that way too. So um, I hope that you enjoyed the live stream. I had a great time as always. I love Mahjong. I could do it 24-7. Seriously, I could. With that, I think I'll go ahead and sign off. If you have any more questions, write them in the comment section below or join me on Facebook and we'll continue the conversation there. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos or go live. And you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next live stream, may all your picks be keepers.